Well, they say you can't live in the past, you know. I've heard that my whole life. I've been trying to lay it. It ain't that bad. Well, I don't like it here. There's every kind of pollution. But I'm in the clear. Yeah, I found a solution. And I'm living in the past. Cause it's a better situation. Having a blast Thanks to my imagination Lately I guess I've been writing some songs again But uh, this time of year I'm more interested in just It was a long winter yeah. And I'm glad to be outdoors I've been uh, down on my farm I got a farm in southern Iowa I've been uh, making raised beds Out of railroad ties I don't know what I was thinking of They weigh a ton <laughs> I'm surprised I can walk. What are you planting? Oh, you know, I made the raised beds because we got pretty heavy soil down there. And I, I, I really made the beds for carrots, garlic, onions, root crops, potatoes. Yeah. yeah. So I can put a nice loose mix in there. Yeah. But I play, I play and sing about every day. Well, how many times you I go out of here? You, stuff. I, I, you tour uh, a lot. I look and see. I mean, you, you probably play you as much as you know, I don't really want. Larry anymore. I mean, if, I think they print my whole schedule on the thing now. But... Really, I've cut down so much. This year, I'll do about 30 gigs. Really? Yeah. Wow, because used to, it's like I'd see 150 or more. Well, that's back a ways. I, yeah. I, I used to do a lot more, but over the years, I've cut down a lot. And uh, I just I, uh, I just go out weekends, basically, now. Go when you want. Yeah, I go where I want, when I want. And, uh, in other words, you, get, much. you got the good life, in other words. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I guess so. My baby said so sweetly, you're still my all in all, but either part of you got bigger, baby, or part of you got small, I look down in consternation. I couldn't even see my shoes. Well, Houston, we have a situation, and I got the fat boy blue. I want to start making these little funky little homemade records. Cool. I'm kind of, as you know, the record business itself is in a state of mayhem. Uh, but I'd like to, uh, I also just got kind of tired of going to the studio and putting, a, I, most of my plan is either solo or with Bo Ramsey. And I've had a number of projects uh, I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, another recording of the songs of William Blake, and uh, a record of the songs of my friend Reiner Tachek, who was a guy from Tucson. He died in '97, I think it was. All the musicians knew about him. Uh, he got a brain tumor and died. Great. He was born in Czechoslovakia, and he loved blues. So it was a, a real interesting deal he came up with, and uh, it was very popular in England actually. But he Robert was, Plant was a big fan of his. But he wrote a bunch of tunes. Yeah, he wrote and he did three or four records and, and I want to do a, a record of his songs you got so I got these little projects and I'm just gonna I got some home recording equipment and I'm just gonna do these things solo uh, I've got a little machine I can do four tracks on that's all so you need it if it's just you and Bo did it. Yeah, yeah me and Bo yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm gonna do some of these little projects and I'll, I'll probably put a website up and yeah Get them out there one way or another. Yeah, you can no, sell electronic Smaller and smaller is really appealing to me these days. Uh, I want to publish, self-publish a few books and put out my own little CDs. Go give me a home Where buffalo could again roam Way more native prairie No GMO corn And where West Jackson could be heard Along with millions of songbirds, a great place for a kid to be born. 
way, way back when you were just writing songs for other people. You were in like the showbiz world, right? I mean, you you wrote like you you wrote for oh, I, not really, Larry. I mean, I when I was a real young guy, I I, I drifted out to Las Vegas with a, a in a little tree I was in, and a gal in the band knew this guy Buck Ram who started the Platters. So I was very at the fringes of the music business, really, just enough to see that I really didn't want to have anything to do with it. <laughs> and I came back home to Iowa eventually, and. Uh, St that's when I started my own little label and, and took more of that kind of approach. How long have you had this I really start? haven't had to deal with the music business. Once in a while, one of them comes up to me and he takes a look at me and he turns and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you, lived, have you had the farm that you live on now? You know, that's actually, uh, I, I don't live there. We live up in Iowa City again. Iris and I lived in Kansas City for about six years. That's where she's, she was, right? Iris was living in yeah. Kansas City. I really liked Kansas City, but she it's liked nice Iowa city. city where I'd been living. It's a small town. Yeah. We moved up there, but the farm's just about an hour and a half south of there, and it's my grand, it's my mother's folks' farm. Oh, that's great! So it's been in the in the family since statehood. So you just go down. It's not there. really a farm. It's a uh, it's a lot of it's hill hill country. It's actually old coal mining country. Yeah, the well, I know I know that part of Iowa. Of, uh, it's it's closer to yeah. people don't think of Iowa yeah. that way. No, it's all hilly. It's like a kind of a mini Appalachia or something. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, hills and trees and uh, brambles and briars and a lot of banjo pickers and all that music came over you know I'm convinced came over mostly from this part of the country because my grandpa was a, a railroad guy and when the uh, diesels came in he, he ran a sawmill with an old steam engine but a, a lot of the people in that area were miners and railroad people and they had come across through the south I know in my own family people came across and uh, I only know them for as far back as Tennessee but I would guess they came over from Virginia or somewhere and came over and and uh, when the coal mining started, that's when a lot of people moved into Southern Iowa. It's not the big endless fields like just if you get north just a little ways, you're right. into completely different. Industrial but the music farming. there, you know, uh, when I was a little kid, my grandpa played five string, grandma played the old pump organ, uncles played mandolin, and the songs we did were just old hill tunes, you know, that's what the repertoire was. Uh, old guy named Buzz Fountain. There's a great uh, folklorist named Art Rosenbaum mm -hmm. who has lived in Georgia many years, but he lived in Iowa City and he collected down in that area, collected a lot of music. Another guy named Harry Oster who wrote Living Country Blues way back, another major folklorist. He lived in Iowa City. I was privileged to know him when I was a kid, so I kind of, I, I, I grew up very in a very fortunate way for somebody who wants to be a, a, a musician, uh, a, my kind of musician anyway, because I just grew up with the stuff, you know, it was just part of, part of life, that and church music. If you ever leave, and I imagine you will, it'll just be me and the whippoorwill, just we two and the evening star. Close your suitcase and go get in your car. Drive down the road in the mud or the dust. Over to the river, Casey will bust. If you ever go, I will be here still. Getting annoyed at the whipper wheel. Getting annoyed, unable to sleep. The dust too dusty, or the mud too deep. I'll follow your dust, or I'll follow your old tracks. Over to the hard road, and I will bring you 